everyone, I'm Nicole and you're watching Bike Me. And today we are going to make a semi fredo, which is an amazing frozen dessert to make at home, especially if you don't own an ice cream maker. Now to start the semi fredo, I need to make a praline or a praline. And to do that, all I need is 300 grams of white sugar in a pot and I'm going to wait for that to melt down and caramelize. Also what I have on the side is 50 grams of hazelnuts which has been toasted lightly as well as 50 grams of pistachios also toasted lightly and I've chopped it up and I'm going to wait for my caramel to form and then I'm going to add the nuts to it. When you're making caramel the most important thing is not to stir it especially since I'm not going to use any water or butter so all I'm waiting for is my sugar to melt down and what I'm going to do is slightly wiggle my vessel around so that the sides which are melting down and caramelizing are going to move into the other sugar. Never leave your caramel alone because it could burn at any point. So you want to watch it. If it's getting too dark too quickly you can lower your temperature and make sure the pot you pick is a nice vessel which is going to conduct the heat well. So you just move it around a little bit like this. You set it back down and let it start melting again. This could take up to 15 minutes or 10 minutes or sometimes 20 minutes. It just depends on how long the sugar is going to take to melt. If you have a candy thermometer, as soon as it reaches 150 degrees Celsius, then your caramel is ready. But if you don't, that's fine too. Just wait for it to all melt down and turn into a lovely golden brown color and that's when your caramel is done. If the heat drops too much and your sugar is melting very slowly, be sure to put your flame back up to high and keep a close watch on it. And can you see it's come together fairly quickly in this case? It depends on the vessel you're using most often. So like I said, if you have a candy thermometer, use that to test it out. Okay. And if you don't, that's fine too, don't worry. Not rocket science, it's just sugar that we are melting, like for a caramel custard, that's what you're doing. And please be really safe because this is melted sugar and if it falls onto your skin, it is really, really going to burn you. So you can see it's almost done. All of my sugar is melted. So at this point, my caramel is done and starting to really bubble up. And I'm just going to give it a last swivel gently. I'm going to put it off the flame. Okay. And I like my caramel like this because I do want a little bit of a bitter edge because it is going to be added to my semi fredo. So in go the nuts. And I'm just going to move it like this. And then on a baking tray which has been lined with parchment paper and I've buttered it, I'm just going to spread this all out gently. So earlier I made some uh, pralines to go into my semi fredo. And this is what it looks like. It looks so beautiful. And you could eat this by itself, okay? I mean, it's delicious as is. But what I'm going to do is crush it up and add it to my lovely semi fredo mix. To start the base for the semi fredo, you need three mixes. And this is the first mix. This is the white of one egg and 25 grams of icing sugar. And what I'm going to do with this is just set it on a stand mixer and use a balloon whisk to whisk it into soft peaks. And this is what it should look like. That's it. That's all you want for this. And always start with your egg whites. Next, I have 300 grams of whipping cream and it's nice and cool, so it's going to whip better. And I'm just going to whip that to soft peaks as well. About 7 minutes later, you want your whipped cream to be nice and whipped and ready. So, for the third mix, which was the egg yolk and 25 grams of icing sugar, I'm just going to whisk it by hand. So, when I say ribbon-like, what I mean is like when you lift up the whisk, the trail down should sit for a few seconds. Can you see it sits like a ribbon? That's what I mean when I say ribbon texture. So it's just going to stay for a little while before incorporating. So to the egg yolk and icing sugar mixture, we're going to start adding the egg white and icing sugar mixture. So you're just going to take a little bit like this, I'm going to add it in and you're going to fold, gently fold. The whole point of a semi fredo is to have that lovely mousse like texture. And the next batch in. When you're folding, remember to take your spatula and go underneath the mix and then lift up. You don't want to stir it because when you stir it, you're going to knock all the air out. So for the egg white and yolk mix, all you're going to do is mix it until you can see 
no more streaks of white left. So once you're done mixing the white mixture and the egg yolk mixture together and it's all nicely incorporated and there's nothing left at the bottom, you're going to start doing your whipped cream. Always end with your whipped cream, that way you're going to have a much fluffier semi free dough. Just take the first batch of whipped cream, pop it in and start folding again. This is actually the only labor intensive part of this entire dish. And when you're mixing, I know lots of people get scared of folding lightly. Don't worry, go with confidence. So after all of your whipped cream and the egg whites and egg yolks are incorporated, you're going to start adding your praline. And I just pulsed it in a blender and I'm just going to add this to my mix. I'm going to do this in batches as well. So I'm going to add about 150 to 180 grams. So just fold the rest of your praline in gently. Next, we're going to add our figs. And like I said, this is just 50 grams of dried figs, which I rehydrated in some warm water. Once everything is mixed, you're going to put the entire mixture into a loaf tin that has been lined with cling film. And I mean really lined, okay? Because you're going to pop out the entire mix afterwards and slice it. So just gently start pouring your mix in. Then you start wrapping over your cling film. Okay, gently. And after this, we're going to put this into a freezer and let this freeze for 24 hours. So it's been 24 hours, yes, it's the next day. I just put on the same shirt and our semi fredo is ready. And here it is. That's the whole point of all of the cling film is to make sure that it doesn't stick. Once it's unwrapped, you're just going to heat up some honey in a little pot. Okay. And you're going to start by putting some of your praline from yesterday as the base to serve it. And you're going to dress this beautiful dessert up now. So just going to put that down. Next, we're going to start putting on some more of the praline just around the side. Also, now it's time for our figs. start placing them on top so there's no right or wrong way of doing this just you're dressing it up that's about all you're doing once you've laid all of your figs on nicely on top I used about I used about five figs and they've all been put on top and now I'm gonna get some of the shards of the praline that we had made yesterday I'm just gonna place them on top like so okay just creates a really nice visual so you want to save some of your praline to do this with. So once you've placed your praline all neatly inside, wedge them into the semi fredo itself. Next we're going to grab the honey that I had heating up in the pot and the only reason I warmed it was so it's more fluid and it's easier for me to drizzle. And this is why this is such a perfect dinner party dessert, I mean imagine this coming out your guests will just be completely in awe of you. When you're going to cut a frozen dessert, make sure you heat up your knife, obviously. So that's just some hot water I have over there. Heat up my knife and wipe off the water. So I'm just going to cut off a tiny bit for me to try for now. Can you see you have little pieces of fig and stuff inside? Okay. Give every guest a little fig. Maybe some praline. And it's time to taste. Okay. Like I was saying, it is more mousse-like in texture, so it's not like a hard frozen dessert. It gives way really easily on your palate. And then the best part are all these little hidden chunks of the praline and the nuts inside, and then you get a little bit of a fig as well, which we put inside. This is such a lovely dessert to serve and there's just something that screams luxury about figs. So if you're doing a really nice dinner party or if you're having a barbecue, this goes really well with all the hot spicy food that you're going to eat. So please try the recipe, tell me what you think and like, share and subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this.